When the going gets tough, the tough get going. But it's that substantialness and that character and the will and the drive and the talents that we have in our company that make the difference. I was born in Treeport, but lived here in Taylor all my life. And this home was the home that my father built in 1950. Living in a rural community, filled with a lot of boys my age, and we ran around, played baseball. We had a lot of opportunity. I don't believe anybody could have had a better childhood than I did. Coming from a rural background and knowing that my forebears came here from Georgia in 1848, and my grandfather Walker and great uncle Jim Woodard started Woodard Walker Lumber Company in 1924 here in Taylor. And then growing up in that same environment, having the desire to go to work, I was the third generation or part of the third generation that operated Woodard Walker. And then when you saw how your uncles and your father taught you and how they ran a business and all the strengths that they had, you found out that you had an opportunity to put on your water wings and see if you couldn't grow with them. They encouraged me and taught me a lot of things. The reason I decided to find, uh, start Fiberbond was because the good Lord was working in my life and that time that I'd been off between my Word Walker days and the start of a Fiberbond, which was approximately two years, I just was not satisfied. There was always something empty and just missing and I thought the good Lord was dealing with me when we had this opportunity to go to Shreveport. And after the nine months, what I heard from the good Lord was, don't quit. And I felt real strongly that he was leading me to start another company. Little did I know that it was going to be Fiberbond or how successful it was going to be. But I had this ambition and confidence that I needed to be doing something the way the good Lord wanted me to do it. And that's how Fiberbond got started. I was born three years before Fiberbond started. So kind of for me, from the time that I can remember, you know, he was, uh, he was involved in the business. It was certainly not just about him. It was about the team of people around him, about providing meaningful employment in the area, about continuing to do something that benefited, you know, not just him, not just his family, but, but other people as well. So, I mean, very much about giving to others, I would say. The family environment that we have at Fiberbond today is because of what I inherited at Woodard Walker Lumber Company and learn those real small lessons in some ways, but they're large in others. You don't want your people to have any less than the very best. And it was always my ambition to make sure that our employees had the same health insurance or life insurance or anything that I had, the same advantages, because their family is just as important to them as mine is to me. When you are lucky to have all kinds of different people from all different walks of life and experiences and background to work in a common goal in a common company, just like Five Bonds, not anything as a company. It's our people. That's the greatest asset we'll ever have. Mr. Claude's very dear to me. He's one of those guys that's kind of been a dad figure to a lot of us here at Five Bonds. Kind of gets you choked up thinking about it. He's a great man. He's the one that's caring for people, all nationalities. He's, you can tell that He's a God-fearing man. I'm the most blessed man you'll ever meet. I've been given family blessings, a wonderful wife and home and things like that. The business is uh, central to my life in so many ways, but it all starts with God. I think your faith to sustain you in times of travail, in times of real challenge, but God will sustain those efforts. And if we're doing His will, which I believe we are, we will make a difference each and every day. In 1999, the plant caught a fire, and we thought we were done. After the fire, he stood on that podium, and chills run down that man's eyes. The fact that he showed up the next day and said, unwaveringly, we're moving forward, we're gonna rebuild, nobody's gonna miss a paycheck. 
And then we had the time, we probably had hundreds of people here, but to see the care, see the hurt that he had and how he wanted to get back to where our telecoms, he, you know, into the market and grow and just make things a lot better. And then he took some of the beans when they were building the plant back and we began to write our name on the bean. And he was just, he, he's just a outstanding man. If a human being can make that kind of decision and that tough of a call and really doing it selflessly, then any challenge that we face is possible. We can accomplish that. We can overcome whatever the hurdle is. For the grace of God that we overcame and came back better than ever. Family means so much, but it all starts with that family of God. And God has been instrumental in my life from the very beginning. And that Five of Bond family, and I use that with a capital F in Five of Bond and a capital F in family, is as real to me as it can be. I pray for them every day. I see their sometimes trials and tribulations and their weaknesses they don't think they can accomplish. Sometimes you just gotta work a little harder. And once you've been through a battle or two, you get a little battle hardened. And then you get skilled at it. And then once you've done it, it's like a plant startup. Once you've done one, you think you can do another. And that is real test that anybody can tell you has been through. If nothing is gonna be given to you, you have to earn it. And he's allowed an opportunity for so many here. And I'm so thankful that I've known him. You can't meet a better man than Mr. Walker.